So after several weeks of cocooning and spending lots and lots of money on milkweed, we now have a butterfly garden in our lanai. There are three different kinds of butterflies on the lanai right now. We have gulf fritillaries, we have monarchs, and we have zebra longwings. The Florida State butterfly. Probably. That's the Florida State butterfly. We also have some italic caterpillars, which will become butterflies. Which are those right there? Which they kind of just hang around and don't do anything except eat. But at least they don't eat as much as the. the, the yeah, they look kind of like little maggots or grubs. Uh oh, butterfly down. Butterfly down. Uh, there's another butterfly down. Crap, look under there. When butterflies come out of their cocoons, they take several hours to dry their wings, or at least an hour. Hey, hon. Yeah. So, they're not really flight ready right away. How many do you think we have right now? Right now. Ten monarchs. That one's drying its wings before it's ready to go out. And we have these disgusting ants that like to eat the late stage. I heard the cardinal back. Again. Yeah. So. Right there we have three guys. in one shot. You have the zebra longwing. Uh, the there's Gulf five. Fritillary. Yeah, but those four are monarchs. Monarchs are definitely going to fly north, but the zebras will stay here and the Gulf fritillary will stay here. And we probably have more down there too. And oh, then focus on the cocoon right here. Which one? I am. And that's where they come from. That's not what my mom told me. Mm -hmm. They don't want to focus. Focusing requires. Yeah, that's not gonna work. That's okay. They like to J in random places like. Where's Jay? I don't like. And this is what they did to the milkweed, by the way. Milkweed is the host plant for the larvae, the caterpillars. And they eat it to the point that there is literally nothing there. And these are their empty cocoons. And these guys are about ready to hatch. That's why they're black and icky looking. But if you're not careful, ants or wasps will go in there and hollow them out and get a little snack. And that guy's not going to be ready to go for a while. Still in the oven. <laughs> Just like you. <laughs> so this is our butterfly experience. And it looks pretty good because my husband's been taking care of the butterfly poop, which is everywhere. Uh, is that guy dead? No, his wings need to be dry. Well, he's upside down, so you might want to fix him. Okay, well, no, leave that one. No, I'm talking about in the pot. Alright, one last look at our little butterflies. And look, right here on my finger. Look how friendly they are. That's how friendly they are. Well, maybe they think you have nectar. I do. Well, me and Law will give them sugar. And as soon as the guy's done watering the lawn, we are going to release them, or mowing the lawn, we're going to release them into... The backyard, into the nectar plants. Yeah. All of them had their proper nectar plants. Zoom in on Which it. is over here. This is our butterfly garden. And that is where the magic happens. And if I stay there for a second, you'll probably see... Yeah, there's actually on the milkweed, which is this plant. I don't think it, my camera is going to allow it to zoom in, but there is a monarch on it. Yep, there we go. See? They actually like it here. Yep. There are sometimes butterflies in the most random of places. But I don't see any extra, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed it.